Hi, I'm Gordon Coyle, and in this video, I'm going to explain how insurance companies arrive at the price you pay for general liability insurance. We're going to dig into the cost of general liability insurance and how to save on this form of business insurance so you are a more informed buyer. So let's start with the basics. What is general liability insurance? General liability insurance protects your business from claims which may arise from bodily injury, property damage, and personal injury. Things like slip and falls, which can lead to a lawsuit. If you want to learn more about the basics of what this policy covers, I did a video on that, which you can watch here. General liability can be purchased as a standalone policy, or it can be bundled with other coverages like property insurance in a package policy or a business owner's policy, which is commonly how businesses purchase liability protection. The price you pay for general liability is unique to your business, and here are the main rating factors that will determine your costs. The first one is the industry you're in. For example, if you own a professional services firm, your rates will be lower than if you own a contracting business. The more hazardous your industry, meaning the potential for claims to arise, the more you'll pay. Number two is geography. Where your business is located and where it operates will also have a big impact on your liability rates. As an example, say you're a roofing contractor, you'll pay a lot less in a rural community in Texas than you would if you were located in a suburb of New York City. This has a lot to do with litigation trends and typical settlement amounts in claims, which can differ dramatically in different areas of the country or even by state. Number three is your claims history, and this is a big one. If you've ever gone out for quotes on your business insurance, agents will ask you for loss runs. A loss run is a record of your claims over the past five years and underwriters will want to see this history so they can properly incorporate it into their pricing model. Have more claims than your peer group and you'll pay more for insurance, or you may even find it difficult to obtain. Have fewer claims than your peer group and you'll earn credits and pay less. Number four, your experience level in this business also plays a factor in the cost of general liability insurance. If you're a startup business with no prior experience in running this type of business, you'll pay more and even find it difficult to get insurance than if you had years of experience. Why is that? Because insurance underwriters want to know that you have experience in running a business safely. They don't want to be out paying claims for an inexperienced company that doesn't know how to control risk and safety. Now, those are many of the issues on how insurance companies develop rates for liability insurance. Once the rate is calculated or developed, it's then multiplied by something called a rating basis. And this is where it gets very specific to you and every other insured. The rating basis will be one of the following. The first one is payroll, which is often used for contractors. The second one is gross sales, often used for wholesalers, manufacturers, and some retailers. The third is area, meaning the square footage of an office or a store used for professional offices and some retailers. Number four is units. This is kind of an oddball rating basis and can be used for things like the number of condo units or apartment units for habitational real estate accounts. General liability policies have an audit feature at the end of every policy year to true up your exposures. You start the year based on an estimate of sales or payrolls and the year-end audit will determine your actual exposure. Have more payroll or sales than the beginning estimate and you'll pay an additional premium. Have less than the estimate and you'll get a refund. Your full year costs are based on the actual full year payroll or sales. Here's an insider tip. If you're getting quotes from other agents to compare against what you're paying now, keep a close eye on what amount of sales or payroll or units are being used in any proposal you're considering. Too often, I have seen competing brokers lowball the rating basis, meaning they'll reduce the sales or the payroll or the units and the premium is going to be lower and the client jumps on it, only to find out 13 months later at audit time that they owe a big additional premium to cover that difference. It's a stupid move by some brokers, so just be careful. Okay, you're probably also thinking, you've explained how premiums are developed, how do you save money or reduce costs on general liability insurance? So here's a few tips. The first one is work with an independent agent or broker who you can trust. An independent agent is one that represents multiple insurance companies so they can shop around for the best quote for you and make an expert recommendation. They do the legwork so you don't have to. This means online sellers like Next Insurance or Progressive usually will only quote their own policy so you're not getting any choices and maybe not the best choice. Number two, 
Be prepared when you engage that independent agent. Have your sales and payroll estimates ready. Have your current policies available for review. Have your current loss runs ready. Also, be prepared for feedback from that agent. They may have recommendations for coverage improvements or strategies that will help you in the long run. Number three, in addition to the basic information about your insurance, if you have written safety programs or safety meetings and other safety and risk control documents that are used in your company to control risk, have those ready as well. This is a step often overlooked by many insurance brokers, and what it does is that it gives the insurance company underwriters who will determine the price you pay a reason to give you as much credit as they can for having good controls in place. Number four, finally, don't skimp on your rating exposures thinking that this will save you money. I mentioned earlier the rating basis are often payroll or sales. If you undercut or skimp on these exposures, you're doing yourself a disservice. Why? Two reasons. First, you'll only pay that difference at audit time. And second, the bigger your firm is, the greater potential there is for discounts based on size. So that's my take on general liability insurance costs, what goes into the rates you pay and how you help control those costs. If you have other questions I didn't answer here, in the description box below is my contact info. Drop me an email, give me a call. You can actually book an appointment on my calendar using a link you'll find there. Thanks for watching, and if you found this info helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.